I first met Bill about 25 years ago. He became uh, one of the first people I interviewed for my book, The Mind of a Trader, and he was hedge fund manager of the year about three, four years ago. This is what he said in my book. If most traders would learn to sit on their hands 50% of the time, they would make a lot more money. That seems odd, because you would think that the more you hit the keyboard, the more money you make. I wish that were true. Otherwise, I'd have some 16-year-old intern just smacking the keyboard all day long, and I'd make lots of magical money. It doesn't work like that. Of course, the world couldn't work like that. Otherwise, we would have cornered the market in money already. No, instead, the reason and he says that and the point he's making, which is one that I elaborated in my interview with him in my book, was that trading is a bit like waiting for the most quality, high probability trade to make. It is not about frequency. It is about quality. It's not about quantity. It's about quality. Put another way, you know, when you see in the jungle, you see those cheetahs just waiting and waiting or lions just waiting and waiting before they see uh, their prey. Have you noticed how they don't chase after every single I don't know, uh, every single deer that's out there, whatever the hell it is that they eat. Um, antelope, right? They'll wait for the lamest, weakest antelope, and they'll chase the one, right? They'll focus on it, and they'll chase the one. They don't chase one, then another, and they certainly don't go for the hardest kill. Trading is very similar. Uh, we're looking for high probability trades because we've got limited resources, just like a lion's got limited resources of energy and time, We've got limited resources of capital and time. Same instinctive behavior uh, that we therefore have to undertake. So that's one of the most important lessons I learned from him. For more important lessons, have a look at the links in the biog and look at my website.